Let's navigate to this middle section where it says new composition. Click on that. Now we have a composition setting. First, we have the composition name. For me, all the time, I always name my composition name to be the main comp. And as you can see, whatever I type, there's this uh, key cast showing up on the left corner so that when I'm doing a shortcut, you know what I'm doing and you know the keyboard shortcut that I'm using. I will also try to say it out loud whenever I use this keyboard shortcut, but you can always refer back to this corner here to see which key I pressed when I'm doing something. The main comp is gonna be the main composition where the working space, where we're gonna be animating our videos. And there's this preset section here. If I click on the drop down, you can see all a ton of presets that's been made. When you first get started, this can be very intimidating, but don't be because uh, most of the time you won't be needing all of these. You will only be needing just one or two of these. And as you can see for the width and height, it's set to 1920 by 1080 pixels. This is a standard pixel size for a HD high definition video and the aspect ratio is set to be 16 by nine. This is industry standard. Whenever you are doing something for broadcast or for a screen TV formats, it's gonna be in this um, height and width. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080, and the aspect ratio is gonna be 69. For Instagram stories, the aspect ratio is gonna be nine by 16, which is vertical, and you just swap these two numbers. The pixel aspect ratio, let's keep it to square. And then the frame rate. What is a frame rate? The frame rate is um, how many frames per second do we have our video. For the broadcast standard, it's going to be 2997. So if you're doing anything for broadcast for TV, it's going to be 2997. That's the standard. But since we're doing social media or like we're working on online videos, so that doesn't matter as much we can choose, we can round it up and choose 30 frames per second. And for traditional drawing animation, traditional animation where you have to draw frame by frame, they typically do 24 frames per second. The difference between 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second is that the more frames per second, the smoother the animation is gonna be. Instead of seeing 24 frames within one second, you are seeing more frames. You're seeing 30 frames, which makes the animation smoother. For us, let's just try to do 30 frames per second since we're not doing the um, drawing or like frame by frame. Resolution, we can choose full. This is gonna be the displayed resolution. We can choose full, half, third, quarter, or custom. If you have a very large file, and it's gonna slow down your computer if you put it on the full resolution. You can actually reduce the preview resolution so that um, when you're actually working on the animation, it doesn't slow down your computer that much. For now, let's keep it at full resolution. And here is a time code. Time code, we can leave it as this. And for duration, our animation is gonna be around 10 seconds. But for now, let's do 15 seconds. Just make sure we have enough time to do the whole animation. And then you can also choose the background color. You can choose the red, the black, the white. For now, let's just keep it black. After we go through everything, now we have a 1920 by 1080 HD video in square pixels. The frame rate is 30 frames per second on full resolution. And then the video is gonna be, the timeline is gonna be 15 seconds. The background color is black. Let's click on OK. Now you can see our main composition over here, it's already set up. And we have a timeline that goes from zero second to 15 seconds. Over here on the time code, if we drag this timeline indicator, you can see when I'm at one second, it shows exactly one second over here and this, it's not only one second, it's also the 30th frame. If I hold on command, click on this, it's gonna give me a timeline based on certain frames. So right now we're on 30, 30th frame. And then if we keep going, we can animate based on frame. But for me, I always animate based on the timeline. So hold command on Mac, control on PC, and then click on this again. It's gonna go back to the second and uh, minute timeline.
if we go back to the project panel, you can see within the project, we only have this main composition set up. This is the working space of our animation. And that's it on how to create a file in Adobe After Effects.